So here's a quick look at my Notion dashboard, which over time has gotten uglier and much more efficient. But I want to talk today a little bit about why you shouldn't keep your Notion data in silos. I'm going to talk about some of the separate databases I've built over time and then how I've slowly connected them together to make everything so much more useful. I compare it to Metcalfe's Law, which is super dorky, but says, Metcalfe's Law states the effect of a telecommunications network is proportional to the square of the number of connected users of the system which sounds like a mess, but the little graphic on the right kind of explains it. If you have you know, two telephones, they can make one connection. Five telephones can make 10 connections. 12 telephones can make 66. It ramps up so quickly. It's not just adding a phone makes it a little more useful, but it does a whole lot more. And this applies to things like fax machines and social networks, and I think to Notion to a little bit too, depending how you build things out. The math for Metcalfe's law, you can kind of see number of connections and then the value based on his law, just how it ramps up so fast when you add one more thing. And I'm finding that with Notion. When I add one more thing, the value jumps more than just adding the one thing in there. Adding the one thing is in there is awesome. Anything I add in there turns out to be better than whatever system I had before. But then as I connect it with other things in Notion, everything becomes more valuable and it's amazing. Uh, so some simple use of linked databases can really do wonders. I'm going to show you some examples and hopefully give you some fresh ideas on how to use this in your Notion. Um, I'm going to start showing you some of the separate databases I built and then how I've come back to connect them over time to make them more valuable. So one of the first ones I added that really got me excited about Notion and got me really diving in was the pipeline, the CRM. The, the default CRM Notion template is very, very similar to this. So you can use that and get pretty close. But just adding in this, this in here was, was awesome for me. I've tried different CRM and pipeline programs over the years. Pipedrive was real good and was pretty close to this, but Notion just took it further and for me, it was really because of the views. I could see at a glance how much have we won in the last 30 days? How much is open for our websites? What do I need to follow up with? Just different views that would snap to exactly what I need. It was awesome. I later built a separate database, just completely isolated, on books to read. So books I want to read, books I'm reading now, what books I've read. Uh, problem I have, I think a lot of folks do, is I see a cool book, throw it on Kindle, and then months later come back and say, why did I put that on my Kindle? So here I keep notes and stuff, and I can decide what to read next. And... Uh, it's been great, so I have that going. I have the planner, which looks pretty simple here, but I have a whole separate video on this. It's really quite powerful behind each of these things for daily planning, weekly planning, quarterly stuff, annual goals, all that. It's awesome. I encourage you to check out that video. Um, there's a template you can download for that if you want to play with it. But that was another set of databases that's kind of built isolated on their own. I have a contacts database pulling in just all my personal and professional contacts. And this is another one I have a separate video that dives deep um, along with a template you can download here. But just a way to have all the contacts in here so I could track everything and have them, their email and phone and the teammates could see them and all that kind of stuff. And that's worked very well. Uh, separately, we have a active clients database. So we have uh, currently 99 active maintenance clients with uh, the agency I run. And so just kind of keeping track of who are they hosted with again and what domain, who are these for domain name and how many tweaks do they get, how much do they pay, all that kind of stuff in one place versus having to go look them all up separately. Just a quick overview of what's going on. So that's been awesome to have as a separate little database. Um, and then over time, I started taking that contacts one and extending it a bit. Um, and again, I'm going to great detail in that other video, but a few little things I did was added a column for a strategic partner. Um, and if they're a strategic partner of ours, I tag that here and have a view that says, only show me the contacts that are strategic partners. So again, instead of a separate database with separate contact info and stuff that may get confused, it's one place for the data. So any of these people, here's their phone, here's their email, it's in one place, however it shows up in Notion, that's been awesome. Uh, another view we did, we've just been working on the last few days, is holiday gifts for the year. Which contacts, which clients are we gonna send holiday, holiday gifts to? So we had these in, various Google Sheets over the years. So I sort of compiled those into one, pulled in, you can see the address column has most of the addresses in here and tagged for which years they were. And then we add some new ones for 2019 and figuring out who we're gonna send that stuff to. But again, that one contact record has their email, their phone, their address, and what your holiday gifts are. So having, extending that has been helpful. But that's not really what I'm talking about today, even though this is uh, still hugely helpful for us. Uh, what's been neat is things like this, where I took our pipeline. Okay, so we have our pipeline I showed you a few minutes ago. This is a different view of it. This kind of shows everything. Um, and added the contact, just linked a linked database to the contact from the contacts database. So that way, if I'm looking at one of these opportunities, I can click the name and get their details, get the phone, get the email, whatever. And conversely, if I'm looking at one of the contacts, I can see, oh, they were connected to that opportunity. And I can see details that, oh, that's still open, or we lost it, or we won, or whatever happened there. I get that all in one place. You know, the beauty of Notion is when you make a relation to a database, 
it shows up here where I made it, but also shows up on the other side. So if I go into the contact, it can show me the relation coming back to this pipeline, which is awesome. It makes it so, so, so very useful. Um, next one here is our active client. So again, back to this one again, we show the number of tweaks and how much they spend each month and who their host is and all that. I pull in the contact again. And what's, what I do here is I extend it further by doing a roll up saying, okay, when you pull in the contact, grab the email from that contact and grab the phone from that contact. So this is another case where in the past, this was a separate spreadsheet with a separate list of contacts and emails and phones that may or may not be kept up to date. So now we have one record to keep up to date and it'll keep it up to date across everything. Uh, makes life a lot easier. And again, we can go into a contact record and see which you know, active project they're part of from this end as well. Going a little further here, um, we have this events database I built. I think I talked about this a bit in the contacts video, but anytime I go to a network event or coffee with someone new or whatever, I add the date and tag the people in here that I talk to. So this partly tells me just how many people I've met with that week, um, but I can go back and see on the flip side, you know, um, what events I saw a particular person at. Going to the next page here, um, actually yeah, you can see inside of a contact record, you know, our contact records are pretty long now. You have the name and all that stuff at the top. But I can see, you know, not only their phone and email and address, whether they're a strategic partner or not, um, whether they're an active client, what events I saw them at. And if I were to click on that, you could actually see the dates of the events. I can say, oh yeah, that's how I know that guy because I saw him at that thing. Um, so you can pipeline they're related to. If they're getting holiday gifts, uh, we track Enneagram numbers to the extent possible. Not many yet, but we're working on that. If I take pictures of the business card, it shows up in here. So it makes this contact record just hugely valuable because it's tied into so many different areas inside a notion. Another one I added not too long ago was in the, this is the daily planner view, which I don't use too much. Um, you can see the title with the date, the actual date of the date, which matches the quote, big three I wanted to accomplish that day, which I try to fill out most days. Any exercise I did, you know, I can tag this for golfing, running, walking, softball, whatever I did those days. But then I added one where I connect it to the books I read. So I can look back and say, okay, I did some pretty good reading there, but then slacked off for a few days what's going on. And again, because Notion does it both ways, what's really neat is if I'm in the book side of things and I see, click on the one device, I can see the days I read it. And this could be kind of useful to see how long it took to read a book or, you know, years from now in the future, I can look back and say, when did I read that book? And I can see literally the exact dates that I read from that book just by spending an extra 10 seconds of the evening to tag, okay, I ran today and I read this book and okay, let's move on with the day. Just getting that connection both ways there uh, is, is awesome. Um, and then the last one I'm going to show you here is we've added into our notion, a proposal boilerplate again for the agency, just tracking what our pricing is. And then if I were to click each of these shows kind of our default wording for how we want to say that. So if it's, you know, set up G suite, it, you know, it's going to say what we put in a contract, you know, set up G suite for a client with up to five email addresses and we'll do training and connect it to your calendar and migrate your stuff over, you know, to a well-written piece of that with the price there. That's all great. Um, having that in notion is awesome but then I can tag in our preferred contractor again from that contacts list. So I can see, you know, we don't do SEM in-house. We have an awesome contractor we use for that. So I tag him in here. And so that way, if I'm browsing him somewhere else, if he comes up and I see his contact record, it's connected back to this and goes both ways. and makes it really easy for us to see what's going on. Or if someone else pulls this up and says, Ooh, we need some social media strategy and we're a little busy now. Who's the preferred contractor with that? Click that. There's their name, phone, email, whatever we need. And again, it's not, is that the current email? It should be current because it's the one contact record across everything that stays up to date. So really that's kind of what I've got going on. And for me, now that I'm getting this going, you know, adding another area in my life isn't really just about moving that area to Notion, although that's hugely valuable on its own. It's when I move that thing over, how can I connect it with other areas already in Notion to make everything more valuable? So I want to hear from you, you know, what other areas have you connected in Notion that you've made some interesting connections uh, between different data sets? You know, leave a comment wherever you're seeing this video so we can all learn a bit more from one another. Hope it helps. Thanks.